Hello there, morning everybody. Morning Alex First Din and Sheila. Um, who we've got on YouTube so far. We're just live on Facebook and on YouTube this morning. Rainy in Devon, Monday it's rainy, well it's drizzly. It's a bit, you know, it's neither raining nor it's not. One of those kind of weathers today. Uh, morning Christine, morning Colette on YouTube and Joe and Linda. And morning Ruby and Coco. <whistles> Sit. Um, morning to Sue and Hazel and Susie St. James. Um, all on YouTube this morning. Now then, I want to take you through some of the sale items we've got for you on the website while well, we've still got some stuff because from 8 o'clock this morning it's been incredibly busy. Um, if you weren't aware, we've got a sale, a 10% off pre-cuts, uh, which my daughter's organised this morning. However, when I looked at it, it's more than just pre-cuts on there. There's loads of stuff in the sale. Um, so 10% off for everybody. However, if you're a member of the Half Yard Club, you still get your 10% even on discounted products like the 10% sale. So in effect, you get 20%. Um, I've had lots of messages this morning about where to find the 20% code. Um, you still use your 10% code, if you're a member, but then you get 10% off. So everybody gets 10% off, but club members get your extra 10% off. And to be honest, if you're not a member of the Half Yard Club as yet, it might be worth joining just for the discounts. For and uh, the um, the sale's going to last until eight o'clock tomorrow night. So I'm hoping we've got enough stock um, stock to see you through the day. Hi Angela and Brian. And oh, what else have we got? I'm not scrolling on Facebook. <laughs> it's it's raining somewhat, says Beverly. Um, morning, Patricia and Jean and Lynette and um, Susan's in Perth in Australia. And thank you very much, Sarah W. Um, morning, Debbie, the twit that tried to use the wrong. <laughs> That's all right. I do it myself, Sue. Don't worry about it. We'll try, we'll try and sort anybody out that has any um, issues this morning. It has been very busy. Hi, Irene. Hi, Mandy. Um, Rainy North Wales says Patricia. Just received a fabric parcel pattern. Oh, for a Japanese knot bag, said, said Jackie. Talking of which, not only do we have the sale on the website for the weekend, I've got lots and lots of giveaways as well. Um, now, there's going to be quite a few, I would imagine thousands of you by the end of the day tomorrow. Um, so I'm trying to put together as many things as I can which will go out with your order. So I've got about 20 giveaways so far, ranging in size and price um, or value. Um, and hopefully there'll be some more tomorrow as, as well when I sort out some more giveaways. Those will be given away to people who have placed an order on the website over the weekend. So we'll leave it till after eight o'clock tomorrow night and then go back through the whole of the weekend and Kim does this computer generated thing where it chucks out names. So I think we'll have about 20, 25 giveaways. And those giveaways are things like, provided by Corbond. I've got two of these to give away. Um, so they're, 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 kind of, they're knitting bags, but they're great storage bags even if you don't knit. So I've got a grey one and there's the blue one behind me here. So two of you are going to win one of those. Um, somebody's going to win a Corbond sewing box. Two of you are going to win a goodie box. And inside here is a whole lot of stuff from Corbon and Clover. So there could be threads and sticky rollers and tapes and all, all kinds of stuff. So we'll just fill a couple of boxes full of goodies for you there. And then everything you see behind me is going to be given away. So somebody's going to have a sewing machine bag. I don't know whether it'll be blue or grey but you'll have a sewing machine bag. It could be one of my Japanese knot bags. These are all, all samples that are either from books or that I've made in, uh, in live shows. So it might just be a sunglasses case, but it may be the uh, faces case. It could be um, the bear bag from the builder bag book. So I, I, think we've got, I think I've got enough to fulfill about 25 giveaways. Um, so anybody that places an order, you're in with a chance of winning something, which I think is, is quite, I mean, for, for no reason, really, apart from it's, um, it's July. Um, hi, Debbie in Queensland, morning, Jeannie. Um, Crystal's late, don't worry about it, we haven't started anything yet. Um, so I'm way behind with Facebook. Sorry if I miss anybody, we're getting hundreds of messages through. Um, Maya in the Scottish Borders and Fran, first time. Hello, welcome along, Fran. Um, 8.05 here in Brisbane, says uh, Saran. Um, love the blue one on your left. 
and oh humid in south wales good morning sylvia oh lots of you here this morning eco book and build a bag back last week oh now the eco books um that's more news for you are being sent out today so you should start getting them from monday um <laughs> we have had them for a week but it's taken me a week to sign them all We've, there's been so many of you ordering um so they should start plopping on your doorstep as from monday the 5th of um of july um and in fact i, I get emails from the post office as they're processing orders and uh, they're all going through this morning so hopefully they should be with you pretty soon um hi debbie burston i'm glad glad to see you back again um rainy and ilkley been on your website so much choice oh thank you Jan we've, we've tried I tell you what when Kim does a sale doesn't she do a sale let me show you some of the um, fat quarters that she's put on there for you so originally it was just going to be a pre-cut sale but I think there's a little bit more than just pre-cuts on there so I'm pretty sure we've still got stock of what I'm showing you I know we've been selling that like mad this morning um, we've got Thomas the Tank Engine so if you just search and actually when you go to the website um there's a banner that kim's put across the top and it says click to go to sale so just click on that and you've got pages and pages of all of the sales stuff um, so remember 10 percent off for everybody and your extra 10 percent if you're a club member and if you're not a club member like i said before might be worth joining just to take advantage of the sale today and tomorrow so let's have a look through some of these and I'm going to make a lunch box in a minute, just using two fat quarters, just to give you an idea of the kind of things that you can make. Um, so this one is your in the garden. So this is the one with the wellies and the hedgehogs. We've got some of these available by the half metre. Those won't be in the sale, but those are all fat quarters. So you've got a pack of five there. A woman, Shelley's big TV. We've got tartan. And this is quite um, a thicker fabric. Uh, there is some tartan with... Um, uh, snowflakes on it as well which is really pretty if you fancy a bit of Harry Potter I love these fabrics I love the colors of them um, Harry Potter fat quarters are available there as well um, I'll take one out in just a second and show you the the size of them if you're not aware what a fat quarter is not everybody is um, morning Chris in the new forest love this one this is I think it's called playful um, animals um, where does it say playful farm so nice for a nursery isn't it or kids things um, little animals on those really pretty stuff um, this is one of my favorite ones I've used this one quite a lot it's Easter bunnies um, but you know bunnies aren't just for Easter are they they're for all year round morning Janice just got back from holiday first time out in two years oh lovely um here we have i'm trying to remember what they're called but i can't um can't remember what that one's called but it's got all of the suns and the moons and the stars on there as well so again just giving you a, a rough idea of the kind of things that we've got on there in the sale there's an awful lot more than we have here we've got planes as well in brights and in pinks and lavenders uh, lots of different colors this is a lovely one uh, unicorns it magic unicorns this one's called can't remember unicorn springs I say my eldest granddaughter would love anything with unicorns on middle one anything with Lego on um, this is nice as well all really bright colors and rainbows this one is called happy clouds and rainbows that's a lovely one isn't it just the stripes on there let me open one of these up so I'll show you what you actually get so just take that off. I'll never get them back in again. Um, so a fat quarter, if you weren't aware, if you were to cut a metre of fabric, then cut it into squares like that, that is four fat quarters. And that's the kind of size that you're going to get. So they do vary depending on the width of the fabric, but half a metre in length by approximately 22 inches I've gone from meters to inches but I can't remember what that is in centimeters but that's the kind of size and I think the nice thing about having um, pre-cuts like this is that you know that everything's going to match so have a look on there as well for the uh, the perfect pairs there on there um, and the one meter packs and the scrappy bags faux leathers faux leathers have all been pre-cut into half meter lengths and put in the sale oh 
<laughs> Jenny Harris, she is shopping this morning, stocking up because we're going to have bare shelves. Um, oh, happy Christmas. Morning, Ariana in Florida. And who was that in South Africa? Lorna. Hello, Lorna. Look at all of this lot. Whoa. Oh, that's a good idea. Fill up the drawer down there. Just a few more to show you. And then I've got, I've got a treat for you. We have a new ditty. Oh, yes. Oh, that was worth tuning in for this morning, wasn't it? This is a really nice one. We've sold a lot of these. Um, what's it called? Tropical Bohemian. This is very much my daughter's kind of thing. I haven't missed much yet, Kelly. We're just going through some of the fat quarters that we've got on the sale on the website. Morning, Christine. Morning, Paddy of Scotland. Oh, and I love this one as well. Um, this one is, um, so my eyes have gone a bit funny now, can't see. What do we call it? Berry patch. And it's kind of all gardening things. But the one I like, I like that. That reminds me of um, jam, uh, jam jar covers. And there's the greens and then the strawberries and the berries on that one. Look, it's beautiful. All blueberries, black currants, whatever. Same thing. Um, fancy something a little bit more classy. We've got bumblebees and script in this one. That one is called um, Be Happy. And then this is the one that I'm going to use for my... Um, my lunch box which was a request of Pauline last week um, and I thought well we can we can do that we can make a lunch box just a, a little drawstring one and I'm only going to use two fat quarters to make it so if you buy a whole bundle you could probably make two and then you've got still a fat quarter left over as well um, morning Lisa with a spanner morning Pam in Stoke thank you very much Angela um, Jack has been shopping this morning Right, the coffee's going cold. Is it ditty time or sewing time, do we think? Should we have a ditty? Right, are you ready? This one's called Jargon. I have a little problem, although it's not immense. I don't understand the jargon. It doesn't make any sense. For instance, layer cakes sound tasty, but my problem is that I think my fabric's eaten too many. My quarters are getting fat. Then, I did a bit of quilting, but I couldn't see my stitch. I looked high and low for it and found it in a ditch. And, I need to see a dentist. I broke a tooth with a crunch as I bit into a quilt sandwich and a jelly roll for lunch. And don't get me started. On batting wadding stabiliser, now my mind is racing, fleece foam and fusibles, all kinds of interfacing. Then, I'm stitching on a plique, do I blanket satin or stitch at slip? And when it comes to buyer's binding, is it ladder, straight, or whip? And zips? Is it zip or zipper? Do I glue pin tack or base? Do I cut off all the selvage or is that just a waste? That's for dressmaking. Stay stitching, under stitching, oh, do you help me please? Right side, wrong side, warp and weft, and, and what on earth is ease? I give up. I'll never learn the lingo. I'll quit while I'm ahead. I think I'll buy some yarn and hooks and take up crochet instead. Thank you very much. Shall we do some sewing? Oh, now just before I do, um, it has been really busy um, recently. I think particularly with So So Eco coming out um, with the um, organic fabrics. Some of the organic cottons I think are in the sale, um, and the bamboo toweling. Uh, it's we've just gone crazy for these. We do have new colours. We've actually got four new colours. I've only got two here. Um, so white, I think we've got in stock. I think the pink and the blue will probably sell out today if they haven't gone already. Can't remember what colour we're calling this, but um, there's a, a green, there's a, I think there's a purple, there's a navy blue, that's like a sea green. Those are beautiful and incredibly soft as well. So these won't, um, I can put the ditty on the website, Mary, if you like. Um, they're incredibly soft. They're not in the sale and I wasn't really going to talk about anything that wasn't in the sale today because it's sale weekend but I wanted to give you the heads up because it is so busy for those at the moment. Right, thank you very much. I haven't got enough to fill a book yet Deborah but I'm working on it. Um, not got a card yet Lisa but I haven't had the post yet today but thank you anyway. Um, 
Thanks, Alison. <laughs> Such a love my ditties. Debbie, I'll show a book called Debbie's Ditties. I think maybe taken the wrong way, but there you go. Um, right, let's do some sewing. Um, the birthday tomorrow, actually, Mary. 61, I know, I don't know, I don't know how that happened. I was only 25 last time I looked. Um, <laughs> Linda loves a good ditty. Right, so this is what we've got. And again, this is exactly two fat quarters. There was very little left over. And I'm using some thermal insulating f uh, fleece on the back of there as well, because I'm just kind of thinking if um, uh, you've got something cool in there, it might help it to keep cool a little longer. Maggie, the things that I'm, if, if they're good enough, because sometimes things go a bit wobbly, particularly when I'm um, sewing live, I'm giving them away. So these are all, well, a lot of things that I've made and I'm just doing giveaways. I give a lot of things to charity and things that I'm making for, um, for books, I tend to hang on to because books launch on TV. So it's nice to fill the set with lots of samples. So that's, that's what's happening there. Thank you very much for all my birthday wishes. 7.15 a.m. in Kelly. <laughs> Lisa, it wouldn't be the same if I couldn't insult you. And you know you, know you like it. <laughs> You know I don't mean it. Anyway, let me measure this for you. Um, so, 20 inches across. Now you're, um, <laughs> stick to 38. I can't stick to 38 jewels when I've got a 40 year old son. Um, by the time I cut off the salvage and straightened it, I'd got 20 inches left. So I've cut this to 20 inches across and it measures 10 inches deep. I've also cut um, the same for the lining. So I'm using that one for the lining. And then I'm gonna have a drawstring around the top. So I'm using the contrast from the lining for the drawstring channel. So that's one piece which I folded over and that measures 20 inches across by nine inches deep. I'll try and do, um, I'll, I'll try and put the measurements on the screen afterwards, but um, I'm, I'm trying to get around to doing just YouTube tutorials of all these lives without the chatter or the yatter as it's been called. So um, so bear with me. Um, it won't be till early next week now because I've got a rather busy weekend. Um, oh, thank you, Carrie. Feel it sometimes. Should have done a birthday ditty, shouldn't I? And then I've got two pieces of fabric that I'm going to make um, two handles out of and these measure, I think it was 15 inches, yeah, 15 inches long, four inches wide and I folded the long pieces to the centre and then in half again and I'm just going to stitch down each side. So that's all I've done for that. Um, Oh, don't rub it in, Caroline, about your move on Monday. We've still got no news. You know, this everything's gone through. And still no sign or no word of anything from anybody. Oh, I've got some ribbon to tie around the top as well. And I've just put the um, the insulated fleece on the one, one side. I don't know how effective that is, but um, it's supposed to keep the cool in and keep the warm out. Keep the, or keep the cool in or the warm in, depending on what you put. You know what I mean. Um, it does say on the packaging, I was reading this morning, if you're going to use it for oven gloves, to use two layers and have the mirrored side on the outside. Um, but you get big pieces of that anyway. Um. <laughs> Lisa's making kimonos. Soggy, it is a soggy Saturday today, isn't it, Helen? Right, let's, um, let's sew this together. <coughs> Excuse me, gosh. Um, oh, it, it is going to be a busy weekend, <coughs> Mary. Not seeing um, Kim and youngest because um, they've had to uh, self-isolate for a week. Um, so eldest is coming over with eldest granddaughter, just the two of them. Um, so that'll be nice. And I have junior sewing machine at the ready because they're six years old. I think it's about time she's sewing. So we're going to have a sewing lesson tomorrow, whether she likes it or not. No, Sarah, I'll, I think I'll just buy one. <laughs> right. Lost my foot pedal, bear with me. So I'm going to sew this right size together to make a tube. 
and I'm just using a quarter of an inch seam allowance. <laughs> Yatter isn't to everybody's taste, I don't think. I do understand that. Some people just want to want a lesson in sewing, don't they? So try the try and please. I like the yatta. It, it's nice because it's live, isn't it? Because um, I mean, I do. I, I get so many comments. In fact, I want to apologise for that. If you have put comments on Facebook or um, YouTube that I haven't replied to, on YouTube I've got over 250 videos, and the comments all come up on, on uh, kind of my end, all in one stream. So I don't get through them all. So I do apologise if I tend to miss them. But it's, uh, it's different when you're reading through comments that, it, that aren't live, as opposed to knowing that you're right there now. <laughs> um, oh, hello, dicey lady. Um, that's Sarah, first time along. Welcome along. So I have a tube. And I'm just going to fold this so I have the seam straight down the back. So let me just measure that to make sure, because I won't be able to fold it and crease it. So that's right in the center. And then I'm going to cut out a two inch square from each corner. Um, so just find a pen and mark two inches here. So it's gonna have, oh, that was a thick mark. Um, it's gonna have a nice square base on this one. <laughs> I'm going to yatter away, Angela. Turn off if you don't like it. This is an iron-on, Jackie. Um, I've actually used um, 505 spray. If you're just using uh, 640 or 630, which of course you can do, then that is iron-on. But th this one isn't, so I've just, I said, just glued it on with a bit of temporary spray. Right, that's going to make the base nice and square. I'm going to do the same with the lining. So fold that together into a tube just in the same way. Thanks, Kitty. Mary, you're right, aren't you? Right, and there we go, just sew down here again. And then we'll cut out the corners in just the same way. Supposed to be. Oh, thank you, Debbie. Kellett says we're all here for the yattering. Mandy likes the hatter, the hatter, the yatter, and the natter. It's what we do, isn't it? You can imagine if we were all in the room together. What a noisy place it would be. Okay, so two inch corners cut out the bottom in just the same way as I did the outside of the back. Of course, it doesn't have to be a lunchbox. I kind of thought with it being insulated, it might make a nice lunchbox. <laughs> Olive, and thank you. Right, let's cut down here. So I've got two pieces exactly the same, one for the outer and one for the lining, like so. So now I'm going to sew across the bottom, um, but I need to leave a turning gap. Actually, it would have been better in the side, wouldn't it? Because anyway, we'll do that. Um, leave a turning gap across the bottom here. And then we'll do the top. Thanks, Karen. I'm gonna have the best day tomorrow. So quite a, a large turning gap, like so. And on this one, we're going to sew all the way across. Hello, Chris in Spain. Just finished the first backpack. And you've joined the Half Yard Club too. Welcome along. We're coming up for, is it, is it four, is it four? I can't remember, are we three or four years on the Half Yard Club? It's three years, isn't it? Um, in August. We ought to do something for that as well, shouldn't we? Should have saved the sale for that one. Thank you, Marianne. Um, <laughs> Denise, I should, I should charge, shouldn't I? Don't know why you do that. Um, 
so that's the outer piece and I'm going to squish these together and sew straight across to make that square so at the moment it's very much like many other bags that we make but I'm going to put the drawstring around the top in just a second when we put all these together and that one too So with me cutting out a two inch square, it's going to make a nice kind of fat little bag. So you've got plenty of room inside there for your, for your sandwiches and bag of crisps, bottle of pop. So it's nice and square, basically. Let's do the same with the lining. So again, we'll squish this open. Um, Oh, Carol's in St. Vincent and the Grenadies in the Caribbean. Oh, how wonderful. Um, you never get bad weather over there, do you? So looking forward to seeing you in the Half Yard Club. Welcome along. Um, you get up with the Half Yard Club, you can join from anywhere in the world because we don't have anything to post out. Um, thanks, Linda. It's all downloadable. So as long, as long as you've got a, a PC and a printer, you can be anywhere and be a member of the club. I think you might be the first one, though, in the, in the Grenadines. Morning, Romali. Thank you very much. 3.55 p.m. in Sri Lanka. Um, August 2000, uh, four years. Gosh, Leslie, that's gone quick, hasn't it? August 2018. Oh, we'll have a think of something we can do to celebrate. So I've got a lining with a hole in the bottom. Then let's make up the channel that goes around the top. So again, I've got that piece of fabric that was nine inches by 20. And I'm going to fold it into a tube. Uh, I'm going to fold the ends over first. Let me just give this a quick press while we're here as well. Just to crease the ends that I'm folding over. Oh, what am I on? Nope. Bear with me while my iron warms up. 18, 19, 20, 21. Three years, isn't it? I thought four years had gone quickly. <laughs> Can't count this morning. Okay, so let's roll that over. I'm just folding this over by about half an inch or so. Not set in stone. Three years. On a slope, Caroline's not watching. Um, digital copies of my book. I think most of the books are available on Kindle, Chris. Three years. <laughs> right. So I'm just going to sew. I folded the ends over and I'm just going to sew a top stitch a little bit down here just in the centre of each side. Linda's joined the club this week as well. Welcome along, Linda. Let us know what you think. There is a... Um, a facility on the website as well to post your own pictures um, and it would be really nice to see those if you go to the um, the actual project then you can upload pictures of what you've made on there as well it's nice to see what you make <laughs> right then I'm going to fold this wrong sides together uh, right sides together sorry and I'm just going to sew these bits together along here should we open that up? No, we won't. I'll sew it there, right along the edge. But I'm going to leave a gap here of about half an inch or so because that's where my ribbon's going to go. Thank you, Sharon. Hi, Carol. Um, Kitty's got some thermal fleece made a tea cozy. Wow. Thank you, Yvonne. Right, so I'm sewing really close to the edge. Is it wet in Ilkiston? Um, I've, do you know, Debbie, I've, I've never actually used a Kindle. Is it, is it not like, can't you, you turn pages on? I've, I've used it. I thought it was just like a digital book. Right, and the same on that one. Thank you, Chrissy. So that's left a gap in the top of about half an inch. Let's trim this back. Have I sewn a wine bottle holder? 
definitely need one to celebrate through that. <laughs> um, right. I, I, I don't know about wine. I think more like champagne. Okay. So let's turn this the right side out. I'm making, Vicky, a, um, a drawstring lunch bag. So let's do that. Hmm. Maybe didn't have done that wrong size together. I'm just going to press this. Like so. Then I'm going to sew a channel to thread the ribbon through of about half an inch. Whoops, which is going to go straight across here. So remember, I've left that little opening at the end. Let's just sew straight down there. You could measure and mark it to be exact if you like. Like so, right. So I'm just using a guide on the throat plate just to make sure I'm sewing the straight line. We'll start to put this all together. Champagne. <laughs> I, I think I think we should. Um, Lisa doesn't drink, do you, Lisa? Lisa maybe um, an apple juice for you then. A bright multi. -mar. It is, isn't it? We've got uh, we've got those on the website. We've got rainbows on it. If you haven't seen these before, they open up. So you've got a little cutting mat on there and then there's a grippy bit that you can put if you're English paper piece and things like that or if you're patchworking it holds all these bits and bobs in place. Um, thank you Alice in Northumberland. Is that this sewing machine? I've still got uh, Kim's sewing machine. She's, I'll just give it her back tomorrow. Um, the bottle was empty. She likes her wine. Oh, I started talking to somebody else there. Okay, let's put this, um, this, oh no, let's do the handles. No good without the handles on. So again, I've just folded the long sides to the centre, then in half again. So it makes it nice and sturdy. So I'm just going to straight stitch down each side. So I can lengthen the stitch a bit because it's not a seam. And away we go. And the, these are, I mean, I made these in so many different sizes as well. Uh, for a little... Um, a craft or a big craft bag, they're ideal. So I think once you get the idea of how things are put together, you can kind of adjust the size, make them bigger or smaller and have them to suit you. You could add like, extra pockets if you wanted to, so a patch pocket on the inside might be quite nice. Um, maybe a pocket with a flap on the outside would be useful. Oh, I always press my fabric first. I don't like sewing with creases. Hello, Jan in uh, in France. Sorry, she's late. That's okay. Thank you very much, Debbie. Um, she's walking home. Oh, Mary makes a lunch every day. Not Nosecco. Not heard of that one. Non non alcohol prosecco. What's it like? I've tried the um a few because I, I like a gin and tonic. So I thought I'd try the Gordon's Double Zero. So it's like a, non, a no gin and tonic. And I actually quite like that. It doesn't taste exactly like gin, but I think it's very nice. But I've not tried a, a, a non secco, no secco before. Um, oh, Linda, I, th I think, I mean, we've been so busy on the website this morning. Um, I wasn't able to get onto it at some time. We don't have the facility, I'm afraid, to add two orders, um, like with a lot of websites, when you place yours, you go through and complete it. But if you message me, Linda, or Kim, or just message the website, um, we'll combine the orders for you. But do message, because we're, there, there's so many coming through at the moment, we'll miss them. Um, so just send a message saying, can you combine these, please? And you'll have to pay the postage, but then we'll refund you afterwards. Just till tomorrow night, though making more work for myself. Um, hello, Lynn in Anglesey. No Secco is lovely. So I might try that then. Let me just skip back a little bit because there was uh, somebody, a video for that. I didn't, Joan. I've, I've got a whole list of things that I need to be making up. 
and for YouTube. Right, I've, I've, I've missed the message, but somebody was asking about the Christmas fabric. Um, it's been held up, I'm afraid. It's on a boat from China at the moment, and um, apparently there's been a lot of it's cold, um, late deliveries. So it's going to be, I'm, I'm told, the end of the second week in August. So it's going to be about another six weeks. I'm sorry about that, but there's not a lot we can do about it. Um, who... The Gordons. Yeah, I like the Gordons one. Not tried it with flavoured tonic. Oh, Sharon, maybe it's just so busy on the Slimming World Pimps. Slimming World Pimps. Let me just trim the, trim the ends off this one. Um, so that's the, the Christmas fabric. I did speak to um, the manufacturers the other day and they said second week in August. Um, we're not doing any more pre-orders before then, purely because we have had loads of questions about the pre-order bundles as well. We'll hopefully be doing some more of the actual bundles when the fabric comes in. Um, but until we've slow, absolutely a slow boat from China, Debbie, um, we don't want to oversell it. So uh, um, just because we've placed an order for so many hundred bolts doesn't mean that we're going to get them. So we don't want to start selling things too early just in case we have to start giving refunds because that wouldn't be fair. Um, black oh coffee yeah coffee would be nice Yvonne he did say he was going to bring me a coffee let's put these handles on I don't know if they're going to be too long actually yeah it's fine um, so with the seam at the back should we do them at the side like that front and back let's just pop this facing downwards and I'll have these halfway across, so that'll be two and a half inches from the centre there. Let's give that a clip. Hi, Jill. Thank you, lunchbox. It's an insulated lunch bag for Pauline. She did ask. Pepsi Max or hot chocolate? Oh, a hot chocolate might be quite nice. Mind you, I haven't got any, but that would be quite nice. Um... Let's put these on. So I'm just lining these up so they're in the same position. Make sure they're not twisted. And then we can just double check that that's going to look nice. So let's just pop those in under the machine just to kind of tack them in place. Just so I can take the clips out. A red, gr oh, that sounds nice. Shula, Shula red grape, non-alcoholic. That sounds good. What we like on a Saturday morning talking about gin and Prosecco and non-alcoholics and what can we get away with drinking? <laughs> um, oh, Tina S, birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday to you for tomorrow. It's a good day to be born, that isn't it? Oh, I was just saying. Was, was that one getting cold? It's gone cold. Yeah. I heard. You've already got requests. Um, uh, Shula? Um, Shula wants a mug of tea. Um, Linda would like a nice red grape non-alcoholic drink. Yeah. Uh, we've had a request for hot chocolate. Um, the slices of ginger in hot water. I've for got all of those coming over here. <laughs> Now then, see, um, Iris, I, I wish in a way I hadn't got used to a, a, a thread cutter because um, it, it's quite, it, it's handy a lot of the time, but sometimes when you want to leave a thread, um, you, you just go to cut it automatically and it's, oh, it's ready to cut. Um, so, you know, when you start sewing right at the edge of your fabric and sometimes the fabric disappears into your feed dogs, so you want to hold the thread up at the back, there's nothing there to hold up. Um, so if you're doing patchwork or something, it's it's not it's not such a good idea. So I, I think in, in a way it's quite handy and in another way it's a bad habit to get into. So that's how I'm looking at the moment with the handles facing downwards, make sure they're not twisted. Then we're going to put the channel around the top. So I'm going to pop a few pins in there. So we'll rub it all the way around. It won't quite meet at the side, but that's the whole idea. So there'll be a bit of a gap here. So we'll have some pins in this one, I think. Um, Earl Grey with a splash of cream. Ooh, oh, that sounds awful, Rose. 
<laughs> Mind you, cream teas are supposed to be part of it. I don't like tea. Um, flat white coffee since lockdown. See, I don't, I, I don't like strong coffee, so I don't go to coffee shops very often. They tend to be a bit strong. I'm not having a bit of a do, Leslie. I think we're going out for lunch. I'm going to attempt to teach my eldest granddaughter to use a sewing machine tomorrow. <gasps> all right, so I've, I've kind of pinned that all the way around. I just want to make sure that the gap um, sits kind of evenly each side of the, the seam at the back. Um, I think I might do these videos Monday, Tuesday, be Wednesday now. So if you've if you've lost the will watching this one, I'll try and do something on Wednesday for YouTube. Um, yeah, I, I, mm, good good and bad things that thread cutter. I'm kind of with you all on that. Now you could do this all in one if you wanted to. I just thought it's easier to explain when I'm I'm doing these all separately. Lemon tea. Now maybe maybe I'd like lemon tea. Well, no, I don't like no, just tea. And I don't, I don't like milky, I don't like milky drinks. I don't like the smell of milk. So, yeah, black coffee. Weak black coffee for me. Don't eat or drink dairy or meat, says Lisa. You vegan then, Lisa? Okay, so that's how it's fitting together at the moment. So it's the outer bag, then handles, then flap, and then all of this is going to go inside the lining. This is one of those things when you're trying to figure out how to make it, you put together in the wrong order. So many times. Um, let's line up the seams when we put these two together, then we'll sew around the top again. She's half a vegan, is our Lisa. Oh, about the same really. I don't eat fish very often. Don't eat meat. Don't really like dairy, but I do like eggs. Um, who to, oh, is that not? Sorry, they, your messages are coming around really quickly. Um, haven't done any sewing for ages, says Gay. Bought some fabric to make a bag. Not sure when it'll get done. Um, <laughs> Jillian, what are we like? G gin, lemonade and a slice of cucumber. It's not even midday yet. Um, mixed berries. Okay, so this is what we've got. So lining up the seams here and the edges around the top. So again, you could do this all in one step if you're a little bit more confident, but I just thought that made a little bit more sense by doing it all separately. So we'll line up the raw edges at the top, then we're going to sew all the way around. So you can use a free arm on your sewing machine if you have one. My main machine doesn't have one, so I tend not to use it so much on this one. Almond milk, I can't say I've ever had almond milk myself. Does it taste like milk? All these things to try. Non-seco and almond milk and Lemon tea. I've never had lemon tea. Oops, a bit wobbly. So as I'm sewing around the top, I'm just making sure that I sew just inside the seam that I've just made. So it might be a bit wider than a, a quarter of an inch seam allowance around there. That's fine. And then we'll turn it the right side out through that rather small hole that I've left in the bottom. It'll fit. I'm missing out on your messages. I'm sorry about that. Um, I, do, I kind of, Marion, I get, I get used to not having the free arm, but I, everything gets sewn from the inside. Um, this does have a free arm on it, but again, I've had, I've had my other machine for so many years now. I just, uh, I just get used to doing it. Pauline sat on the floor sorting out her buttons. Oh, I just finished the story. Keep on. Thank you very much. Okay, let's pull that through the hole. Then we just need to, oh, have I got a, yes, I have. 
Thank you, Janet. And it's only using two fat quarters. So I just thought I'd, I'd show you something using fat quarters because it's not all about patchwork and quilting um, and how little fabric you actually need. There was um, a piece of the black fabric, a strip about that long left. So I, I've used it all of the white and all practically all of the black fabric as well but on a fat quarter pack there's five of those so you could easily make two bags of this size and have a fat quarter left over or if you make a larger one then you could use maybe three fat quarters so have one for the base one for the lining and then one for the channel at the top you'd have quite a bit left over from that actually so i'm just sewing the opening closed then we're about done oh eric i love a glass of cold water with ice in it ice in a slice Okay, let's push the lining inside. And then I'm just going to top stitch around the top here. So that's going to hold it in place. So it will be quite bulky because you imagine I've got that thermal lining inside here, which is now folded over. So that is quite thick. Um, Sylvia, if you go to the Half Yard Club website and look under About Me, um, you'll see the code there. You'll need to put it in, in capital letters. If you're stuck, then um, send me a message. Jeannie, same for you. Um, if you, uh, the sale pieces on the website have already got their 10% taken off. So anybody can order with 10% off everything on the sale page. Um, so Jeannie, if you use your regular Half Yard Club um, discount, you get 10% on top of the 10% that's already been taken off. So in effect, you get 20%. Um, if you don't, if you can't find the code, again, go to the Half Yard Club website and um, welcomes for the free months, Sarah, on the website. The discount code is different. I'm not going to tell you what it is because it's only for members. But if you go to, thanks, Sylvia. Um, if you go to About Me, on the Half Yard Club website, you'll, you'll find it there. Glad you found it. Oh, Susan's filled up her drugs. Right, so I will use a free arm for this one. <laughs> Glenys, thank you. We've got, um, so the, the sale that Kim's done on, on, on the website, um, it's going to, oh, Anne, happy golden wedding anniversary. Wow. Um, the applique toy box lease will come on the 15th. The, um, it's the uh, gardening caddy is the main project. Toy box is the halfway through one. So that'll come on the 15th. Um, oh, well, I've, I've left. I've left my train of thought at the station. Where was I going with that? Oh, items on the website. Um, we, yes, we're having a sale on the website, you may have gathered. Um, a lot of it is brand new, so it's, it's not trying to get rid of old stuff. Um, Kim's actually been really busy buying things in, specifically to, to reduce him. doesn't make business sense, does it? Buying things in to reduce in price for you. Um, so you may see some things that have only just gone on the website that have been reduced in price. And it's not, there's a lot of, well, it's all the pre-cuts that we have. So it's the fat quarters, it's the um, the perfect pairs, the scrappy bags, and everything's in, in that department has been uh, reduced. But there's also some fabrics on there as well, she's reduced. And we've got the faux leathers in the sale as well. They're all in half metre. Um, all in half metre pieces now. The blue bag behind me is that that's one of the storage bags that Core Bonder provided us with that is going to be in the giveaway. If you've just joined us, let, let me just explain quickly because this is this is really important. Um, on the Debbie Shaw Sewing website, where we're having the sale this weekend, it's not just ten percent of everything plus 10% for club members. I'm doing a giveaway. Um, I think there'll be about 25 items. That's one of them. Um, there's actually two of those bags. So from Core Bond, they've got lots of storage stuff and pockets all over the place and everything. So two of those will be given away. The big Core Bond um, sewing machine bag is going to be given away. Um, there's a couple of boxes full of Core Bond and Clover goodies we're giving away. And then everything else you see on the set here, or oh, there's a, a sewing machine 
a sewing machine, a sewing box, which is going to be given away. And everything else are kind of my makes from books and lives, which I'm going to give away as well. So all you need to do is place an order. It doesn't matter how much. It could be, a, I don't know, a packet of pins. Um, and then Kim's going to put everybody into one of those computer generated name pulling out the hat box thing on Sunday night. So you'll just get a random present. So it could be anything from one of the big core bond bags to maybe the sunglasses cases that I made the other week. So can't guarantee what you'll get or who will get it, but that's, those are all part of the giveaway. That's what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Flavoured gin with hot chocolate, Susan. Oh. Um, swivel clasp for the strap. I think, <coughs> excuse me, I think we've sold out, Julie. Hi, Floyd. Um, I'll have to double check on that one. Thank you, Deputy Kin. I'll see you again Wednesday, hopefully. Nice to have your company today. Um, I'll just finish off sewing around the top there. And how can you lose? Oh, there it is. So this is what we've got. So now I just need to put the ribbon through the top and that'll make a nice little drawstring there. So remind members where to find. Oh, thanks, Lisa. Um, if you 10% discount code for Half Yard Club members, you do need to be a Half Yard Club member. Um, I think at the moment, if you're planning on doing a lot of shopping on the website, it's worth joining the Half Yard Club because it's only £5.99 a month. Um, when you join, if you go to the Half Yard Club website, so that's halfyardsewingclub.com, and then in the header bits across the top, you'll, I was going to show you, then I can't show you. Um, there's a section that says about me. So if you have a look on that, it will give you the discount code. Um, put it in to when, when you go through to shopping on my website on the Debbie Shaw Sewing website, there'll be a coupon box when you go to pay. So put the code in there and you will automatically have 10% taken off anything that you buy. Um, if you're stuck, if it doesn't work, if you can't find it, send me a message on Debbie Shaw Sewing's website and uh, either me, and Kim, me or Kim will sort you out. Um, hello, Sylvia and Kissy Me. You do. Uh, the, the, the draw for all of these prizes is going to be from somebody who's bought something on the website. Um, if we go through everybody from YouTube and uh, Facebook and pick a prize, there's going to be, well, there's hundreds of you. So it's going to be, oh, thank you, Lynn, going to be just on the website. So somebody that makes a purchase there. Um, OK, let's pull that up. Tie it in a rather nice bow and we are done. Thank you, Sarah. Um, yes, Joe, use the code every time. Every time you place an order, you need to put the code in and then you'll get your 10% discount. There, we're done. It's quite sweet, isn't it? So Pauline, if you're watching or if you're watching later, I haven't seen you come up, sorry if I missed you. Um, I hope that's big enough for your sandwiches, for your lunch. Just trim these bits off here. And again, that was a... Uh, a lot of chat and demos, so I will hopefully get round to doing a dedicated video of it next week if you prefer to watch that way. Um, hi, Dee. Oh, thank you very much, Dee. If you join the club, there's a video tuitions on there, please. Um, yeah, let me, let me explain uh, briefly. Um, was that, sorry, Carol, you've disappeared. Brenda, you're not kidding, you've overslept, it's nearly midday. Um, Carol, yes. If you join the Half Yard Club, so it's £5.99 a month or it's £60 for a year. So if you sign up for a year, you will get two months for free. And I think that's $9.99 or $99 for a year off the top of my head. So it can be, and, and that will be translated whatever country you're in. So on the first of the month, I don't know if elastic could work. You'd have to have it quite, I suppose it would do. I think to gather it up with elastic, it needs to be quite small though, and you'd need it quite big to pull open, wouldn't you? Anyway, um, on the first of each month, you will have a project with a video. So this month, it's, let me see if I can reach it. 
there's something different every month so i'm still i'm still tied to my equipment so bear with me there we go i'm talking about favorite drink <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday for tomorrow. Your favourite, ice, lemon, gin and tonic with a spring onion. The gin, it's not even 12 o'clock yet. Oh, well, you can save it for later. I'll be, t I'll be talking all wobbly. Eat your onion. Can't be open it. Looks very funny. There's gin in, there's gin in that. Honestly. You're going to be talking about me now. Gosh. Um, <laughs> I've got to get my nails done in a minute. I'm driving. I can't have that. Anyway, that, but that was very nice, wasn't it? Anyway, Carol. Um, this is this month's project. So this only came out last um, Thursday. Um, you will have step-by-step -step instructions, patterns if needed. There isn't a pattern for this one. You don't need it because it's all squares. There is a matching apron, however, which does have a pattern with it. There will be a video instructions with photographs and it'll be a different project every month. So it could be quilting, it could be dressmaking, it could be toy making, it could be bag making or homewares or it will try and keep it really, really varied. So that will be your main project every month. Then halfway through the month, you'll have a second project. So the second project this month is a toy box, but it could be a bit of quilting. It could again be a, not another bag. We wouldn't do two bags together. We try and keep it very different. Um, on top of that, there is a block of the month and lots of hints and tips and videos on how to's and things like that as well and that's that's there all the time and it's growing there's also an ask a member area so if you've got any questions whether it's related to sewing or to the projects or whatever you ask a question on there somebody will get back to you either half your club myself or another member so that's a nice little kind of forum um, situation and you will get discounts and special offers there as well. And you can try it for a month for free, Carol. So if you use the word welcome in capital letters, this is on the Half Yard Sewing Club website. You'll need to put in all of your details and your credit card details because that's just what happens. Then put the word welcome in there and you won't be charged for the first month. And you will have an email after or coming up towards the end of that free trial um, to remind you that you need to cancel if you don't want to carry on. And you've also got projects on there that uh, will go back for two years. So the day that you join, you will have 24 projects to be getting on with as well as the block of the month. So, uh, so that's what that's all about. Thank you very much. Thank you for all of your, your birthday wishes. That's really kind of you, thank you. Um, yeah, Jewel, spring onion. I've always read a bit of mint. We'll be, that'll be going back in the fridge for later on. <laughs> Um, do you pick monthly and year when you first sign up? You can um, you can decide that yourself. If you go to the About Me page, once you're logged in there, you can choose whether it's uh, monthly or yearly. And if you want to change that halfway through or after a few weeks, then you can do that as well. What on earth was that? <laughs> a, a rather a rather loud ding there. Thank you very much, Josie. Okay, then I'm going to pop off now. Um, I'm back again on Wednesday at four o'clock. So the Wednesdays are changing to four. Um, oh, uh, merci beaucoup, Jean. Um, due to popular demand, because we had a bit of a poll, but also because it makes. Um, I got stars. Have I got stars? I thank you very much. I don't know what the stars mean. Um, that would be nice, wouldn't it, Julianne? Oh, Patricia, happy birthday for tomorrow. Yeah, four o'clock on Wednesday, um, partly because that's what the majority of you wanted and partly because it's a little bit more convenient for me as well, so I've got a whole day to work before I come on air. Um, so I shall see you again then. So enjoy the rest of your weekend. Let's hope the weather picks up a little bit over here. Still looking dreary outside at the moment. And uh, you take care and I shall see you again um, on Wednesday. If I don't see you on Wednesday, I'll see you here again next Saturday at 11 o'clock.